Listening Test One, November eleventh, twenty seventeen. Part A. In Part A, please look at the four pictures. You will hear a statement about the pictures. Choose the picture that best matches the statement. One. The man is using a parachute to get down from the top of this skyscraper. Part B. In Part B, you will hear several questions or statements. Choose the best response or reply. Two. Johnny is one of the most competitive people I've ever met. Three. Have you organized transportation for your vacation? Part C. In Part C, you will hear one or more conversations between a man and a woman, and then a question following each conversation. Choose the best answer to the question. Sir, the enemy forces have surrounded our base. I think it's best that we surrender. Are you sure, General? Yes, I believe it's the best course of action. Four. What has the general decided to do? Are you still looking for a new job? Actually, I'm quite content where I am. You were looking for a while, though, weren't you? Yes. But then some things changed in my office. Five. What does the woman say about her current job? Part D. In Part D, please read the questions below. You will then hear one passage about these questions. Choose the best answers to the questions. The Great Chicago Fire of 1871 was a huge disaster. Around 300 people died, and more than 100,000 were left homeless as a result of the three-day fire. At the time, most of Chicago's buildings and even the sidewalks were made of wood, so the fire spread quickly. Several factors made things even worse. First. There had been a long drought prior to the fire. Second, the wind was blowing strongly, which helped spread the fires. Third, firefighters were sent to the wrong part of town at first. Finally, the fire spread to the waterworks and cut off the water. To this day, no one is sure how the fire began. According to popular legend. A cow in a barn owned by Mrs. O'Leary had kicked over a lantern. Another story says that the lantern was actually knocked over by a group of men who'd been gambling in the barn. This is the end of the test.